Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Wakanda number one, starring Shuri. This is a new miniseries from Marvel Comics. I think each episode will highlight or spotlight a different um, a different character from the Black Panther uh, family of characters, uh, and also a backup story of history of the Black Panthers. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the creators behind this team. Or behind this book, and then we'll talk more about this specific issue. Uh, so the Shuri story is written by Stephanie Williams, uh, with art by Paco Medina, Walden Wong, and Elisabetta D'Amico on inks, uh, Brian Valenza on colors, uh, letters by Joe Sabino on the whole book, so including the backup story. Uh, we also have the history of the Black Panthers part one, written by Evan Narcisse, uh, Natasha Bustos on art and Jordi Belair on colors. Since this issue is already out when I'm recording this and I've already picked it up, uh, I have preview art for both stories, which is uh, usually I only have preview art for whatever Marvel puts out uh, beforehand. But here we go. So in this book, um, <clears throat> the Black Panther is no longer welcome in Wakanda. Now, I'm not fully caught up on the Black Panther run, so this is uh, this is definitely something that threw me off kilter for a little bit. Uh, so who is this proud nation without its king? This exciting new miniseries answer that question as each issue spotlights a different fan favorite Wakandan character. First up, Shuri proves that with uh, that being without the Black Panther doesn't mean Wakanda is without heroes to protect it. And that there is a reason she too once wielded the power. Uh, plus part one of History of the Black Panther's backup story, providing for the first time anywhere a definitive overview of every Wakandan who has ever held the mantle of Black Panther. That is so cool. I mean, I think, uh, I mean, it's, as a, somebody that creates content, I think that's definitely going to help uh, in those History of Black Panther videos. But just as a fan, uh, if you're discovering Black Panther for the first time or recently, or you've been waiting for the second movie, or you're just started reading comics, uh yeah that's gonna be so cool but let's go take a look at some preview art and then we'll come back talk a little bit more about wakanda uh i really like the uh the the art in particular i love the character designs i love their clothing uh the like it really feels and you'll see more a little bit uh and i just kind of love this premise of like dropping us into the wakanda border just like cold let's very you know very cold open like we don't know what's going on then we move on to sherry uh, <clears throat> talking to our mom and here trying to figure out what to do, right? What's going to be the next steps? Uh, what can they do? And, you know, knowing that Wakanda needs them, uh, but sure he's always also focused on the science. So I like that we spent part of the book, uh, exploring the relationship between Shuri and her mom. Uh, but then also just the fact that Shuri is a superhero. Uh, and I think Rhino is a really interesting character, um, as you saw from the cold open, this all kind of goes back to that. So very well, like very well done. The seeds were planted there. Like if you, if you had been somebody that, uh, can foresee a lot of things, you probably knew that right now was coming. I just thought it was kind of neat, uh, that <laughs> it's really interesting that they snuck in right now into Wakanda, uh, you know, like a Trojan horse kind of with other rhinos. Uh, so yeah, this is a really fun fight. Definitely a lot more happens in this issue. So Really cool highlighting of just uh, Shuri as a character and as a superhero for Wakanda. And then I just have a little bit of preview art. I know I won't go too deep into it, but I think uh, uh, just uh, B uh, Natasha Bustos does a fantastic job uh, just capturing. It almost feels like we are looking back at a history book a little bit, uh, but I love the stylization of the characters. I love the designs. I love the way that the panel is being laid out to kind of just give us a quick, brief rundown of everything since the, you know, the 1000, uh, the 1 million BC uh, Black Panther and all that stuff. So for anybody that has always wondered and wanted to kind of go back uh, as to understand the history of the Black Panther, I think Queen Ramonda, it's really interesting the way she just kind of tells the story to the kids and we use that storytelling device. Uh, to talk all about the Black Panther and the history. So this was a fun issue. I love that it's a miniseries. Um, I uh, I feel like a lot of these books, maybe not specifically this one, because it is about each of the characters, uh, but they are definitely meant to be like all kind of read at once in the larger story. Um, so I do appreciate that. I mean, I have Marvel Unlimited, so I'll definitely be able to catch the rest of this uh, as it goes on. 
but I had a really cool uh, Killmonger cover that I that I was able to get for this book. So definitely, definitely enjoy this. Uh, and if you're somebody looking for more Black Panther content, uh, I think this will be fun. I do want to go back and read why the Black Panther is not allowed in Wakanda anymore. I did miss out on that. I, I remember reading the first few issues of that series and seeing that it was going to be kind of a ride. Uh, I just never gotten back to it yet. So, uh, but let me know what you think of this new Wakanda book, uh, and let me know who else do you think is going to be uh, in is uh, highlighted in these series. Uh, there's definitely a lot of characters that we could pick from, uh, as we ourselves, uh, you know, the movie going audience also wonders who the next Black Panther will be. Uh, really fun that Marvel's definitely giving us both content for uh, Wakanda and Namor. Uh, go check out our Namor, uh, the Submariner review uh, as well in the channel. So definitely Marvel capitalizing on their upcoming uh, movie properties. Um, so as always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And stay tuned because we have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.